Hi, hello, this is Charlie Jose. You're watching another episode of Action Charlie. Yes, I'm back again about crypto, about trading and uh, investing. So let's go on with it. But before that, uh, I just like to thank the subscribers and uh, viewers from uh, India and also mga kapwa ko Pilipino who are watching, who are into investing and trading, not only in crypto. Okay, crypto is not everything. You could also invest in PH stocks, Philippine stocks with dividends, no, like uh, GMA7, uh, Semerara, or uh, one of those good stocks that uh, give you back money. Okay, then there's also Go Trade if you want to invest uh, in US stocks. Okay, for uh, for Southeast Asian countries. For Filipinos who are uh, watching, there's Go Trade. You could use Go Trade. You know, you could use your, uh, you could use your, your uh, G G G Cash or your Union Bank to uh, cash in to Go Trade. Okay, but uh, we're not gonna talk about uh, other investments. We're gonna talk about Bitcoin. And uh, lately, uh, let's zoom in for a while. Let's remove this ad. Oh, by the way, the DXY, which is the dollar strength index, uh, lately has uh, gone up. Okay, so these are one of the factors that's affecting uh, Bitcoin price. And as you can see, it went up. Uh, We're in the day chart. I'm using tradingview.com. You could use this anytime if you want. Uh, it's free and there's also a subscription option for you okay but the free is good enough for you to start with and uh, you know practice your trading practice your technical analysis okay so this is a uh, dxy first and uh, previously in july 12 it was as low as like 99.5 yes and even it went down to 99.59 uh, 55 yes so it was at that level up to 99.9 .9. okay almost 100 and then it shut up because well inflation rate etc you know uh, and uh, what and the hawkish tone of the US uh, Federal Reserve Jerome Powell speech etc said they will try to uh, still target that 2% uh, inflation rate for the United States and uh, but uh, there are uh, factors affecting that uh, target because they they might uh, need to uh, print money very soon or else the economy will be in trouble so so is the story of the US economy print money raise interest don't print money etc so anyway, so as uh, as I mentioned, DXY is up 103. Okay, so that's why uh, Bitcoin is a bit down also because the dollar is gaining strength, and the Bitcoin dominance, as you can see, the Bitcoin dominance is uh, at 49.78, while uh, Ethereum is around 19.22. Okay. So a tip for those who are starting in uh, crypto, if you don't want to be bothered with the altcoins, you no, know, with other uh, coins, and you and yet uh, and you are yet to study those altcoins because you don't just dive into even even the fam uh, popular meme coins like Doge and Shiba, you know, just don't dive into them until you you know the history and study the charts of those uh, top meme coins okay but so that you could start off with the uh, crypto you could start with BTC and ETH and uh, we are all telling you from uh, from the YouTube uh, crypto land and the Twitter or X Twitter X uh, you know, crypto cryptoverse we are telling you this is the time to accumulate uh, Bitcoin and also ETH okay so again, uh, Ethereum is around 19.22% in the dominance uh, chart. Let's go back to BTC 
and uh, let's go on we're still in the daily chart later we will uh, zoom out so you could understand more uh, about this topic today and the topic for today is will uh, bitcoin still going to go down this september and why did uh, bitcoin go up uh, just uh, 48 hours ago so as you can see uh, this one uh, this one uh, this one the day chart <laughs> the green one the candle is uh, it went up like uh, eight uh, percent uh, a couple of days ago yeah in uh, August 29 oh by the way there's a full moon today or yesterday I think it's today yeah it's a blue uh, mega blue moon uh, on the 31st uh, today okay uh, but since uh, New York is the center of finance, so you wait until New York becomes uh, August 31. <laughs> That's the full full moon for the blue moon. So hopefully that would uh, uh, give us uh, you know, a pump. Or was it this was this the pump already prior to the blue the moon? If you are doing some moon phase trading, okay. So sometimes, uh, most of the time, those those are those are effective effective also. So you better start studying moon phase trading, okay? Because there's effect of uh, uh, on on moon uh, the moon phases when we are trading. It affects the psyche of people, okay? So the reason why it pump around eight uh, percent, it it pump around eight uh, percent. Uh, on uh, the 29th yeah the 29th because of the uh, the grayscale uh, lawsuit or SEC's lawsuit against uh, grayscale oh no no sorry grayscale uh, sued uh, the SEC the US SEC because they want their uh, gray, uh, BTC uh, uh, BTC uh, grayscale uh, fund to be to be transformed into uh, BTC uh, ETF you know, like the ones that uh, uh, Kathy Wood from ARK Invest and of course uh, Larry Fink from uh, BlackRock uh, applied for uh, BTC ETF so uh, fortunately the judge ruled in favor of, uh, of uh, grayscale uh, saying that uh, you already uh, you know you they already own a lot of uh, BTC by the way and uh, in the thousands and uh, and uh, the SEC already approved uh, futures uh, BTC futures uh, ETF so there's no actual difference between the two okay and uh, US SEC couldn't give a, a, a definitive uh, uh, definition and the divide or the difference between a spot uh, ET, uh, a BTC ETF versus a futures uh, BTC ETF. Okay. To, to be honest, there's not much except that the other one has leverage and the other does not. Okay, spot depends on uh, price going down, price going up without any leverage. While you're doing futures, you're betting on uh, BTC going up or BTC going down and then you choose a leverage whether it's 2x, 3x, 5x, 20x and what have you, whatever uh, multiplier is available on a DEX or on a centralized exchange on a SEX, okay, like Binance or or uh, M uh, or BitGet or uh, OKX or Bybit or Mexi Global uh, or even in Coinbase. Now Coinbase is, uh, uh, I think they're uh, putting in futures on BTC and uh, ETH because uh, BTC and ETH has deemed has been has been deemed as a commodity and not a security which is good okay so that's the reason why this pump but the question now remains is that uh, September okay September 
And usually, when September is coming, this happens. Okay, this one. This happens. Okay, I call it the premature September. Okay, September. Okay, and it happens also in hist his history. So, let's check on the history. Okay, and we might uh, have another uh, uh, minus... 7% drop okay this September as per as per uh, historical uh, you know, figures and you could also check on the monthly returns of uh, Bitcoin uh, you could google it uh, Bitcoin monthly returns Okay, so this is the one that I'm trying to find, coinglass.com. Uh, so you could see here the quarterly and quarterly returns of uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum. And this one, I think we should uh, go back to the day, day uh, theme. So this is the monthly returns of Bitcoin. And as you could see in August, it's always negative. And then September is all its majority is uh, uh, negative as well. So expect a negative uh, a return on September. Now whether it's gonna be negative seven, which is basically the average here, or maybe a negative five. So uh, wait for it, wait for it, because we just jump from uh, from. Uh, from a 8% uh, uh, jump, it might, and it went down again for X amount of percentage already, and we are minus 2%, and we are going in maybe plus 7%, that's uh, uh, plus 7% uh, this uh, September. Okay, so uh, again, Look at the charts here. You could always go to coinglass.com uh, and check that. Okay. Check that out. And you could do your uh, statistics. Uh, get your uh, mean, median, and uh, maximum. <laughs> and mean, median, and mode. Okay. And let's check about the history. So we're going to zoom out. Zoom out. Zoom out. And uh, let's check. Okay. If you want to uh, check like 2017, we're not going to go back in 2016. Or maybe we could go back there. And uh, let's uh, do some zooming. So we are in the reset. And uh, this is like uh, July. In uh, what? In uh, 2015. This is, 20, this is the 2015 uh, chart. 2015 chart and look look at the 2015 starting July it went down then you know, August also it went down then then until what until uh, what August 22 it went down so there was a premature uh, September during uh, August like this one uh, I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna try to blow it up. This one, if you could see it, that one, that was like August 18, and it went down. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Usually, usually it goes down on the first week of the last day of the first week of August, or during the middle of August, it's starting to go down. Okay. But uh, again. Uh, uh, two, uh, 2015 was a bit different. Yeah, 2000 reset was a bit different. As you can see, uh, on January it went down. Usually this one goes down uh, sometime here in the fourth quarter and then it goes up. Uh, then it goes up here in March. So Q1, Q1 all, is always a uh, pump, pump, uh, pump quarter. And then you're lucky if it pumps again to the second quarter. 
and then August comes in and it goes down. Okay, November also is a uh, bear mark bear month, so watch out for November also. Okay, so there. And then from uh, reset, you'll you'll go to the to 2016 having, and there you go again on July. And then September was down, August was down, because it uh, dropped already in August 1. August 1, it went down, uh, starting late July. So sometimes the September premature, uh, it, uh, you know, it dumps already starting from late July and then the whole of September, uh, the whole of August. Uh, so August is a dump and uh, September is a zigzag or a swaying, swaying month. And then after the halving, this is the halving. So this was the halving and basically it pumped on 2017. Pump, 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 pump. So that's one big pump and there was a follow-up pump on the decline, on the dip side. Okay. But uh, during, uh, during the all-time high, uh, September also dip and August, uh, August also dip and then pump and then dip on uh, September and November also. Okay, then uh, this is the dip season and then September also dipped, August also dipped, and then November also dipped. So that was in uh, 2018 uh, dip, and then 2019 reset. Did it dip uh, on uh, August? Yes. August dipped. August, middle of August. Then uh, until September, end of September. Even until October, it still continued to dip. And it dipped again. Why? Because this is the dip year. <laughs> uh, this is the reset, reset mode in uh, uh, 2019. Okay. But uh, on the reset mode, like we are now in 2023, uh, after the dip here in 2020, uh, 2020, 2018 dip, it really dipped, right? So then it pumped again on up to what? On uh, similar to 2023, it pump, it pump uh, good. Uh, for the first and the second quarter, okay. So that's that's what that what hap that's what happened in uh, 2019, similar to 2023. And then expect deep uh, August, September, and then October, okay. And uh, then we got the what? We got the having. 2020 having and we also experience the dip and then prior to the actual having okay this is this was the having and it dipped and then it pump pump it pump it pump and then September, there you go again, it went down. August, mid, middle of August starting to go down. As you can see, this one, middle of August, August 18, August 17 started to go down, then dip. And then uh, it went up a little, but dip again the whole September. And then October starts to pump. Okay, then pump. Pump, 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 and then it goes down again on oh, November. So November is also also known to be a bear, bearish. Uh, but after that, after the New Year, New Year of uh, uh, oh, 
of what? Of 2021, everything goes up. Up, up, up. Up, 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 up. So that would be the, the, the 28,000, almost 29,000. Uh, that was the 68,000, uh, almost 69,000 uh, all-time high of Bitcoin. Now, mind you, this was because there's a quantitative easing and that uh, <clears throat> in 2020, we had the uh, COVID lockdown and America printed money to, uh, to, to make sure the economy is growing. So they gave money to people and companies you know, to, to, for them to spend so they, they could keep the economy uh, uh, moving but the consequence is uh, what we are having today so so we'll have a high interest rate etc etc and as you can see this is September again even the all-time high there's a dump and there's a November dump also in the all-time high and during the dip we also experienced in 2022 a dip here this the 2022 uh, was really a bearish month because there were multiple uh, events that happened uh, swan swan uh, black swan events uh, you got the uh, dokwan uh, you know uh, those uh, uh, stable coins and then there's multiple uh, uh, financial companies and the investment uh, firms like uh, Three Arrows Capital and uh, what else? And those you, you have heard that uh, they owe money from people because they invested on them uh, expecting a higher return. So let's again, September and November uh, are bearish month and even August, okay, are bearish, bearish, uh, uh, bearish, uh, bearish month as well okay so this is your august august september november are are all uh, bearish month so again going back uh so we are now here at the reset mode this is 2022 this is 2023 reset mode and we pump 80 percent on the first quarter and second quarter yeah around that uh, region and now we are in august and then we're expecting a uh, september dump and a november dump so that's how i think will happen on uh, on september and november and uh, always keep dry powder so you could buy the lowest low that you could possibly buy because after that we we could uh, especially if the BTC ETF hopefully will help pump uh, the market uh, next next year on the having so this is the having this is the having part okay so I'm gonna crunch this first so you could have a view overview. So this one is the having and I'm basing it on the, the two lines here are 2019 and 2022 and the other one is 2015 and 2018. Okay, so uh, expect a having the having to, to, to pump. And prior to the having, if the SEC delays the the approval of the BTC ETF and uh, uh, push it into uh, to March and that would be great because that would uh, boost the, 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 the natural or you know the, the traditional uh, price increase of uh, BTC okay so there you go and uh, hopefully uh, I don't know if you're gonna have a single uh, peak on the all-time high or we'll have a double peak similar to 2019-2022 uh, uh, four-year uh, four uh, cycle okay but uh, uh, the estimate is the estimate is that uh, we might grow somewhere in the 200,000 level 
that would be the highest for the all-time high and we might uh, uh, grow into what uh, the highest would be 180 and the medium is like 150 between 125 and 150 and the halving and God knows what will happen in the all-time high <laughs> okay so, but uh, that's the, the 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 rough estimate. Anyway, we hopefully it it could be tamer, maybe just two hundred thousand, uh, two hundred thousand, or one hundred eighty thousand in the all time high of twenty twenty five, and then we'll get uh, around uh, uh, one hundred twenty in uh, the halving. So that's my uh, Bitcoin uh, prediction for uh, uh, 2023, 2024, and uh, 2025. And uh, last tip is uh, once you've achieved the ATH, uh, keep uh, dry powder and take advantage of the dip here. Do not buy during the reset. Buy sometime in November of 2026 during the dip. Do not buy. Uh, buy sometime in October, November, and December of uh of the dip or maybe in june also if it really dips so hard in 2026 okay because that's what happened in 2022 okay you should have taken advantage of the low price i don't care if you buy just 100 dollars because your 100 dollars could uh i don't care if you buy 500 dollars your 500 dollars could multiply into 1500 dollars in the next uh having in 2020 in 2028 and then all-time high in 2029 again so but uh expect diminishing returns uh for bitcoin so the best thing is also to have ethereum because ethereum is the next best thing and ethereum is going to have its own uh, etf soon as well and then uh, what else and then pick your favorite altcoins that may 10x or 5x no it could uh, surpass the multiplier of bitcoin and uh, eth so that's it for today thank you very much for watching and uh, 30 minutes is up don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell i know i gave you a very very good uh, reason for the dumps etc and also the price uh, appreciation in the very near future Again, don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and give us a thumbs up. And see you on my next video. Goodbye, adios, arrivederci.